Just how far back does this winning streak go for LP3 Chiron? Let's look at some of their hog raids, hybrid air raids, and the craziest way ever of dealing with defensive lava hounds. Prepare for clan wars. Hi guys, Spence23 here, welcome to today's episode. We are going to be taking a look at one of the great war clans in Los Phoenix, which is LP3 Chiron. I've made some of videos on their uh, clan wars before, always a lot of fun. Let's take a look first at their war record. Let's take a look how long has it been since they have lost a war. So they've drawn 31 days ago. Let's keep going down 60 days. No, 71 days. So they lost a clan war 71 days ago. In fact, they lost two in a row. I make no comment as to how that actually happened. But they're doing extremely well. So I think it's definitely worthwhile for you Town Hall 9 guys. Let's take a look at three of their Town Hall 9 war attacks in their last war, which they've clearly won here, 50 to 41. Now the final attack in this, I don't know if you guys have seen it before, it's a very special way of dealing with a Lava Hound, and I've not seen this before, you guys might find it quite interesting, maybe you've seen it before, um, but we'll see that, we'll come to that in a minute. So this first attack is going to be the Hybrid Air attack, very successful at the Town Hall 9, trying to go in with the Queen straight towards this air defence and the Clan Castle and the Defending Queen. This Defending Queen is very close to the edge, so she is very easy to kill. It's not the best war base, this. There are too many things which you can go straight in with your Golem and your Queen and take them down. Defensive Dragon, um, pretty easy to take down. The King is distracting that Dragon. Natural fact, the King doesn't really need to do a great deal, although he is attacking that uh, defense, but he just needs to distract this Dragon long enough so that the Queen can get onto it and take it down. There she goes. She's done it. She's jumping over. Now she just needs to take this air defense, perhaps get this wizard tower. That would be useful as well. If she can do that, make life a little bit easier for the rest of the attack. Well done. Queen's taking it down. That's her job done now for the, this whole attack. Here come the first hounds straight onto this air defense, followed by the loons. Now the loons are deployed specifically to get the um, archer towers down first and then they're going to be going straight onto the air defense. Now this rage is placed in exactly the right place, gets all of these loons all at the same time, and once they're under rage they move a bit quicker, do 80% more damage, and this base starts to be destroyed. Same thing at the bottom, balloons onto the archer towers, they then move in onto the air defense, under rage, again perfect spell placement, and this base is looking like it's in serious trouble. Now we mentioned before how people are using haste, uh, Kurt, Kurt's Awesome has used a haste here to get his loons very quickly onto the air defense and onto this expo because those are the buildings he needs to get down to make sure he takes this down for a three star raid. There they go, they're onto the last defensive building which is this expo, it's going down, there it goes and this is a dollar destruction. Base completely destroyed, still many many lava pups all here, they are going to help take down the rest of this base and there's going to be no worry about time, here they go, let's speed this up. And that's a great raid, Kurt, and sorry to see your base destroyed, CXT, but I think that's a particularly bad war base. Too many things which you can come in and take out at the beginning. That would also work pretty well for the hogs, I think, as well. Now, speaking of hogs, we have an attack here. This was the hogs. Now, in LP3 Chiron, they use the hybrid air and they use the hog attack, probably in equal measure, but let me know, guys, uh, which one you prefer in your clan. This looks ripe for a hog attack. Now he's going to go, it's a very similar start to the strategy, only this time we're not after the air defence, we're after the Queen, and we're after the clan troops. So straight in with the Golem, got to use these wizards to clear out these buildings on either side. If you don't do that, the Queen might start walking around, and you, uh, you're you not going to get the defensive Queen. If you leave the defensive Queen alive, you will completely fail your hog attack, and look like a complete fool, which I have done <laughs> several times. I'm not, a, I'm not the world's best hog attacker, they do frustrate me sometimes. Um, but I, know, I do appreciate when watching the really good hoggers how they uh, predict where the hogs are going to go and get all the spells in the right place, especially the heal spells. How come the clan troops? Now I'd have probably dropped my poison here. He's not dropping his poison just yet. He's already sent the hogs. Seems to be waiting till they come a little bit further out and get stuck on that golem. Now the poison's down and it's time to see how well he does with these heal spells. So they're going in first. There's one hog gone out to the outside. That's getting chopped up by the king. Now watch what he does here. These uh, hogs, they're going to have to jump back out to this archer tower. Now the non-hoggers like myself would probably, once this big bomb goes off, quickly drop a heal there. But he doesn't. Keeps his patient. He drops the heal spell exactly where the hogs are going to be rather than where they were. So that they're in it for the maximum number of time. And that's the only way you're going to three-star these bases using the hogs. Pretty much most of these defences are gone. The King is following the Hogs all over the base. You'll notice, guys, that the King will leave his plinth and he will go all the way around the base. 
to take down hogs. Not sure why he doesn't do it with anything else, but he definitely does with the hogs. That's the last building down. They're going to turn on the king and smack him over the head. King's going down. Sorry about that, king, but you are in serious trouble. There we go. And they're on the town hall. Hogs are taking this down. Another dollar destruction. Another great three-star raid by Crazy Dane from LP3 Chiron. We'll speed this up, but it's a foregone conclusion. What has he got left? He still has a wizard left on the outside, but I've not really ever seen anybody run out of time any time recently using the hogs. It's not normally a problem. Sometimes happens with the loons, though, I think, because they are so slow. Now, this final raid, this is the crazy raid. Now, I, like I said, I don't know if you guys have seen this before. My personal least favorite defensive troop is the Lava Hound. They drive me crazy. Excuse me. And they distract your queen for the longest amount of time, and you can often lose your queen. But look at this. We've got a healer and two archers which have been deployed on the outside of this base. Now, what could this possibly be for? So the Lava Hound comes out, tries shooting these archers, but this Lava Hound can, does not have the power to take down these archers with this healer helping them out. So this is going to continue now, this little battle for the entire of this raid. This Lava Hound has been taken out of this raid completely. So whilst the rest of the raid goes on, it's going to be a hog attack. We can just keep checking back here. These two archers will still be alive and this Lava Hound. Now it's pretty important here that you don't put too many archers down because if you explode this Hound and turn it into Lava Pups, then it might start doing you a little bit of damage, coming over and distracting your troops. So you want it to stay alive till the end as a big fat Lava Hound and it will do no damage to anything whatsoever. So here come the hogs, nice big spread of hogs on the top there. They are going to take these defensive buildings and then rather than jumping over those wide gaps there, which would have been what I was worried about, they're actually going to walk all the way around because the closest buildings are round and to the left. There's the heal spell keeping them fully topped up with power, despite hitting a few little bombs. Straight onto the expo, getting zapped by the wizard tower, that's not going to be a problem either. We've still got two heal spells left at this late stage. And there's a nicely deployed heal spell exactly where these hogs are going to go. They're going to be chased by these little larries. Is he going to bother poisoning them? Probably what I would do, but again, I'm not the hog professional. No, still not the poison. I guess these larries just don't do enough damage to hogs for anybody to worry about. But look over here, we've still got these two archers. They're still having this titanic battle with this lava hound. And the healer flying in her pink bikini overhead, keeping them alive. This lava hound has been totally nullified from this raid by using this technique. Now, they won't even need to destroy this lava hound, because once all these buildings are dead, of course, we've got the three stars. Job is done. And basically, there were no clan troops involved in this attack whatsoever. Here we go, final building down, down goes the Builder's Hut, three star dollar destruction using the crazy Lava Hound distraction technique. Don't know if you guys use it, let me know if you've seen it used before in your clan wars and let me know if it's successful. Um, I'm going to be back a little bit later today, we're going to be doing the all one troop raids, we've not done them since the update, some people wanted to see them used with the new spells uh, such as Earthquake. So we'll start off with Barbarians, 275 barbs, we're going to do that tonight and hopefully not lose! Thank you guys for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe and share these videos with your friends. I'll be back later today with the 275 bar braids. I think we're going to probably use Earthquake. But until then, you guys take care. Send everyone!